All right, so let's look at this example problem. We want to determine the force that the smooth roller C exerts on member AB. So, so it's pushing down here on member AB. AB is pushing right back up, equal and opposite. Uh, we want to find the force right there. And also, what are the forces at the reaction at pin A? All right, so my first step for all these frames machines, I'd like to look at the whole free body diagram and see if I can go ahead and solve for something right here. So what would the whole free body diagram look like? I'm going to actually draw it on top of this. I'm not going to try to redraw this, uh, but I've got a pin at A. So I've got an AY and an AX. I've got this uh, roller at D. So I've got this normal force at D. In this case, it's, it's in the completely in the X direction. All right, what about at pin B? Well, pin B, that is an internal force. Um, that's not an external support. I would not draw BX and BY on the whole free body diagram because what probably happens is maybe AB feels BX, BY, and BX right here, but uh, pin D feels BX and BY right there. It's equal and opposite. If I was to draw it, I'd have to draw it on both figures and they would cancel each other out. Just like on a truss, you know, you don't don't worry about the force at the um, joints for a truss until you open it up. So B, the BX and BY, that's an internal force. We don't draw it until we open it up. Same thing right here. Uh, D, C is pushing down here, but that is pushing right back. It's internal. We don't include it on the free body diagram until we... Um, break it apart. So there's our free body diagram, and don't forget about this moment here. We've got that moment, dx, ax, and ay. All right, so we can look at the whole free body diagram. I think it's, hel it's helpful to go ahead and write what the next equation is, what, what you're looking at, to clarify for yourself, to clarify for me. Um, so look at the whole free body diagram. Summing the forces in the x direction would be ax, minus dx equals zero, summing the forces in the y direction, ay, that's it, equals zero, okay, so ay is equal to zero, and then summing the moments, I can sum moments about any point, um, I like to sum the moments about, I choose a point that two forces go through, or two unknowns go through, so that you can solve for your third unknown, so I'm going to sum my moments about point A, so AX goes straight through it, AY goes straight through it, so they don't contribute to the moment. I've got this negative 61 negative, well, just because I like to call counterclockwise positive. So I've got that negative 60 right there, and then I've got DX, its moment arm, 0.5 feet, creating a positive moment equals zero. So DX is one, whoops, 120 pounds. All right, dx is 120 pounds, and then plug this back in right here. Ax is also 120 pounds. All right, all of those came out positive. What does positive mean? Positive just means you guessed correctly. All right, positive means you guessed correctly. So I guessed correctly for those. And so now I know that this is zero, this is 120, this is 120. Uh, now I can break it apart and only look at one member or the other. Um, I could probably choose AB or I could choose CD. Um, it. We have three equations, so if I notice that one or the other has three unknowns, that's a good sign and I can solve for those three unknowns using my three equilibrium equations. Uh, I think I'm going to come down here and look at this member AB. All right, so I'm going to look at this member AB and just AB. So I'm going to draw the free body diagram of just AB right here. All right, so what forces are acting on just AB? All right, I still have this AY. Actually, that was zero, so I guess I don't have to draw it. Um, I have this 120 pound force, which I um, still have. I've got this 60 uh, pound foot moment. All right, now here at this pin at B, there's a pin right there. Now that I open it up, uh, yeah, it feels something from that pin, right? It feels a BX and a BY. So it feels a BX and a BY. I actually don't know if that BX is pointed to the left or right. I'm just guessing. 
I don't know if that BY is pointed up or down. I'm just guessing. The first time you draw any force, the first time you, you draw it, just just guess, but then stay consistent, right? Stay consistent if you were to draw this again, if I was to draw this on member CD. Uh, but, you know, I'm guessing right there, if my answer comes out negative, then I'm going to come back and redraw it the correct direction. All right, and then also it feels something right here. It feels this pushing down right here, this normal force C. That, that's really what we're asking for. All right. Um, if I was to really draw a good free body diagram, I, I need my free body diagrams to be self-sufficient. Uh, so I would draw the dimensions. I would draw the axes and any other angles, anything. Make it self-sufficient so that I don't have to go back up here anymore. Right? I don't have to go back up here anymore. I can just I can just go back up here and refer to this when I am summing the forces in x equals zero, sum of the force of y equals zero, sum of the moments equals zero. So this is <clears throat> member, just writing this to, to remind myself, member AB is what I'm looking at, and I can sum the forces in x. I've got 120. All right, plus BX. <clears throat> so when I'm summing the forces, I, I'm doing those according to the axes. Right? When I'm summing the forces, I'm doing those according to the axes. This is to the right. This, I guessed it was to the right, so that equals, right, equals zero. So from this, what do I get? Be careful. Bx would be negative 120. So what should I do? This is what I want you to do. When your answer comes out negative, I want you to change it to positive and come back here and draw the correct direction. Now, <clears throat> I don't want you to, I prefer that you don't, erase it completely. I don't want you to do this, erase it completely and draw it there because if you do that, then I, I would have I would have thought, oh, you just guessed that way to begin with. Um, I want you to do kind of what I do here, kind of do a scribble and, and show me that, oh, BX is that way, 120 that way. All right? <clears throat> and then summing the forces in the Y direction. I've got negative NC plus BY equals zero. All right, can't solve because there's two unknowns right there. But here, let me sum the moments. Um, I can sum the moments about any point. <clears throat> Do you see what point might be helpful to sum the moments about? Maybe summing the moments about this point because NC goes straight through it wouldn't, wouldn't show up in my moment. Or summing the moments about this point. I think I'm going to sum the moments about point B. But you could sum your moments about any point. Um, Try to choose a point that some of the unknowns go through so that they, they don't show up in your moment equation so the math works out easier. So sum in the moments about point B. Bx goes straight through it. By goes straight through it. This NC is acting four feet away, creating a positive moment, right? I'm going to say, uh, I like to say that positive is counterclockwise. And then I still have this negative 60. Now, don't multiply that 60 times its distance. It already is a moment, Right? It's not a force that we need to multiply times its moment arm. It is a moment. It's a couple moments, a free vector. It doesn't really matter where it's applied. It is a clockwise 60. So even though I'm summing the moments about point B, I still put a negative 60 right here. Uh, and then I think this 120 goes straight through it. Uh, this 120 goes straight through it. So I think that's it. Set that equal to zero. I'll get NC 15 pounds. NC is equal to 15 pounds. And I could stop right there because that was what it was asking for. That was, um, <clears throat> oh, sorry. Yeah. It was asking for the force that smooth roller exerts on AB. It also does want to know the, the, the pin at A. So box those in. In general, in general, I, I kind of don't, don't like you to box in. I only want you to box in the final answers that the question is looking for. Um, I've got a bad habit of, of boxing things in that aren't real final answers, so I'm just going to come back here and not box that in. So there we go. That's what we've got. AX, 120. AY was 0. NC was 15. Now, if your answer comes out negative, then you drew it the wrong direction. There are some things, though, that cannot come out negative, right? This NC, if it comes out negative, then that would be telling me it needs to be lifting it up, and, and, and this cannot lift up a b it's just a normal force just touching same thing with this d right here you know that roller cannot 
uh, pull, you know, it can only push. So, um, you know, in general, if something like that were to come out negative, then either you did some math wrong, which is probably the case, you did some math wrong, or what it really means is if something like this came out negative, it means the, the setup that you've got is impossible. The force is on there. It will not be in equilibrium. It's impossible. But anyway, so that's kind of a warning sign. If something like this NC were to come out negative or this D were to come out negative, uh, that would be impossible. Everything else, though, if it comes out negative, change it to positive, go back and redraw it the correct direction. So there we go. Now, one last thing. Um, I could go now and look at this member right here. Um, it's unnecessary. Uh, but it's a way to double check your answer sometimes is to look at the other member. So I can look at this other member. I'm going to keep this um, roller together with this right here. Um, and so there's a pin right here. So <clears throat> if I were to draw the forces on this member, I still have this uh, 120 pound force right there at D, DX. I've got this B right here. I've already drawn BX and BY, so I need to draw it equal and opposite on this member than it was on the other member. So, so on the other member, it was 120 to the left. This one, it is 120 to the right. This other one, the BY, well, I guess I, could, I haven't done it before, but I could plug this in here. Solve for BY would be positive 15. So here, here it was 15 up, here it is 15 down. And then the same thing with this normal force, it feels 15 down, this one feels 15 up. And I didn't have to, but I could come back in here and I could double check that the sum of the forces in X should still be equal to zero. The sum of the forces in Y should still be equal to zero. The sum of the moments should still be equal to zero for member, uh, I think, C, D. For member C, D. So I think you can see that, that this, uh, this would sum to zero. And one last thing. When I have these rollers that are pinned, connected to a bar, I tend to keep it together. So I tend to keep it together. So yes, there is a pin right here, but I haven't taken it apart. So I'm not worried about the, the C, X, and C, Y because this this bar feels a cx and cy equal and opposite to what this roller feels so i like to keep them together um and pretend they are one piece don't um don't separate that pin so let's just review what we did here we looked at the whole free body diagram three equilibrium equations solved for what we could then we separated it looked at one member three um, equations solved for what we could remembering to um, when we open it up then we expose that those internal forces BX BY and the NC which were not in our original whole free body diagram All right